Okay, so, um, what am I gonna have before my runs? Well, I usually make like a 10 banana smoothie over here. Uh, I got flax seeds. That makes it all like, uh, like thick consistency and some little bit of almond, uh, almond milk, just a little bit you need. Just pour that in there. Yeah, pour in the, the flax seeds. Do, 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 do. Uh, about that much. Okay. And then you blend it up. And you let it sit for like two seconds until it absorbs into the, uh, the almond milk, right? Okay. Next we got uh, frozen mangoes, and it ha so happens to be that uh, frozen fruits are cheaper than regular fruits. So, yep, that goes right into the smoothie. And then 10 bananas. That's one banana, two banana, three banana. Also, while you're at it, you put in a raw clove of garlic, too, and you blend it up. So after you blend it all up, then uh, you take some to go, you put it in a little thermos over here, and then uh, I'll drink most of it right now before I run, so you have a little bit after you run, too. Or, usually sometimes it's a hot day, I usually just take one or two of these oranges, because I think really on a hot day I want something really sweet and juicy, some sort of juice or something, but um... You see what you want, but it's definitely all fruits throughout the whole day until dinner time. Next, it's time to drive down to Old Beth Page and uh, meet your friends for a run. And I'm prepared with a smoothie, and they're probably not, so I'm gonna have a better run than them because I'm carved up, right? So uh, after the run, you got a sweet orange here, uh, and some orange juice or whatever. Uh, especially on hot days, I like the high water content fruits and vegetables. I do not like Mama Cow's titty juice. That sounds just disgusting after a run on a hot day. Who would drink that? I guess a lot of people do, but me. But you know, I think it's just a natural uh, thing for human beings to go for a sweet, juicy, nice, cold fruit after a run. Uh, I like watermelon is the best thing. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a uh, real watermelon anymore in New York, so uh, that's a big problem, so I guess I'm gonna have to stick with the citrus. Uh, honestly, we gotta fight to get new wa real watermelons here because this kind of crap is just unacceptable, but. Uh, so that's why I just definitely eat like right after my run, just sweet fruits and vegetables, uh, just sweet fruits, uh, some fruit juice, uh, I get the raw sweet orange juice, uh, fresh squeezed at a, a little bagel shop near here, and uh, that's always good. I uh, get some nice fresh amino acids, and amino acids are the building box of protein, so to recover muscles and to bring back carbohydrate to the blood and body, you're going to want to eat oranges, fresh squeezed fruit, so, and nothing else. So, quick recovery, and then you'll be ready for your second run of the, of the day later. Uh, tonight I have a workout, uh, just a light one, because in about five days I'm heading down to Boston for the up to Boston for the twilight meet. I'm running the 5k, the the CDT, the elite seat. I'm going to go try to run under 1350. So uh, there you go. Never stop running. Always inspiring. El Coyote Loco. That's good. I'm really dehydrated now.